Hi, my name is Rich Boren and I'm the owner of Cruise RO Water and Technotics. And today I wanted to talk about the differences between our standard water maker models. Specifically the 20, 30 and 40 gallon per hour units. A good place to start with these is probably the 20 because we take the basic components from the 20 and then increase either the membrane surface area or the output of your high pressure pump in order to get our 30 and 40 gallon per hour units. So starting with the 20 gallon per hour unit, we're using a one horsepower AC motor that's using 9.3 amps at 115 volts. And that's driving a 1.6 gallon per minute high pressure pump. And that is feeding an RO membrane that's a single 40 inch Dow Film Tech membrane. So it's 68 degrees uh, seawater temp, standard salinity of about 32, 34,000. You'll, at 800 PSI, you'll be producing 21 gallons per hour from that single 40 inch membrane. When we move up to the 30, the only thing we do, the only difference between the 20 and the 30 is that we put a second RO pressure vessel and membrane in series with membrane 1. So for the 20 gallon per hour unit, you have uh, 1.6 gallon per minute flowing to a single 40 inch Dow membrane. Then on the 30, rather than sending that reject brine from membrane 1 overboard, we're sending that into the inlet of a second membrane. So now the second membrane is going to be making about 12 to 13 gallons per hour. So you have no increase in power usage. It's still the same one horsepower motor. The pre-filter, boost pump, control panel, tubing size, literally everything else is the same you're just getting basically 50% more fresh water production from the 30 than you are over the 20 due to that second RO membrane. So I think that reason is why the 30 is our most popular selling unit by about 4 to 1 because for the same power, the same footprint except for that extra Dow membrane and pressure vessel, you're getting 50% more water production from the 30. Cost you're going to spend an extra $855 for that second RO pressure vessel and membrane, the extra stainless steel tubing, the clamps, the mounting feet. So you got an $855 price difference, gives you the same power usage, but 50% increase in your freshwater production. It also gives you some increased redundancy because since you're operating on two RO membranes, if one of the two RO membranes was to fail while you were out cruising, and of course nothing bad ever happens while you're out cruising, you'd be able to easily replumb the dual membrane unit into a single 20 gallon per hour unit. So you get some increased uh, re redundancy from having the second membrane, increased fresh water production, $855 cost adder over the 20. Everything else is the same. And I think that's the reasoning why I think why a lot of people opt for the 30 over the 20. Now, in going up to the 40, we basically take the 30 gallon per hour unit with the dual 40 inch membranes plumbed in series. And instead of the one horsepower motor coupled to a 1.6 gallon per minute pump, we up the output of the freshwater pump to 2.3 gallons per minute. Now in doing that, we now need a larger horsepower motor. So we increase that to one and a half. So on the 40 gallon per hour unit, you're now going to be using a one and a half horsepower motor that takes 13.3 amps to power. But you're going to produce slightly over 40 gallons per hour. So you, you notice there's not a large price difference between the 30 and the 40. That price difference is basically for the larger high pressure pump because the boost pump, excuse me, the high pressure motor, the pump doesn't cost us any different. So you have the same boost pump, the tubing, the panel, literally everything's the same. 
So when you look at what are the differences between the 20, 30, and 40 gallon per hour units, it's basically one or two membranes for the 20 and 30, and then going from the 30 to the 40, the difference is simply a different high pressure pump and motor. So taking that into account, I get questions, hey Rich, I think the 20 will be enough for me. I don't want to spend that extra $855. Is it possible if I go out cruising and realize, geez, I'd like that extra production, can I upgrade to the 30? And the answer, of course, is yes. If you start out with a 20, decide you'd like that extra output for that same price differential at the beginning 855 bucks you can go ahead and buy that second membrane pressure vessel some stainless steel tubing connections and, and mounting claps clamps and upgrade to the 30 gallon per hour unit so you don't lock yourself in if you decide you want to start out with the 20 but honestly, the 30 is our best-selling unit by about 4 to 1, and I think it has to do with that redundancy, the same power usage, because if you're able to make 20 gallons in an hour versus 30, that could be 50% less generator runtime if you want to continue using the same amount of water, or you can run your generator the same amount of time and make 50% more water. So it has a little extra flexibility. So I'm always available for questions on email or phone seven days a week. So if you have any questions, I'm happy to help. You can email me at rich at cruzrowater.com. Of course, you can check us out on our website at cruzrowater.com. And if you have any questions about water makers that you'd like me to see make a short little video about, I'm always happy to do that as well. This is Rich with Cruzaro Water. Thanks for watching.